Thanks for my stand. Big thanks to the devil I'm tonight. sorry. You better watch out. You better not cry. Uh, let's have a face off. <laughs> That's a real face off. And guess what? Santa Claus. Santa Claus is here. <laughs> Santa Claus has come back. Gift. I need, they don't have weird glue <laughs> in the North Pole. <laughs> when Santa Claus comes to town, folks, for those of you who remember the good old days, you never know what you're going to get, including a beard that may or may not stay on for the it's entire real. season. But Santa, it is so good to see you yes, here at yes, holiday yes, time. Yes, yes. It, I have, this, this, is, this is a nostalgic gift. Remember we what used to it? have Chuck the Duck? Yes, it became a movement. That's Went right. from the animal to, please, Chuck the Duck. But no, it was a good thing. This is Chucky, Chucky. the Ducky the third. the third. And if our act ever goes well, <laughs> and this thing could ever stick. We're off to a flying start, that's right. for sure, Stanta. That's Chucky. So Chucky's here to uh, bring back memories that's of right. the past. All right, well, you're always bringing gifts for people in the National Hockey League, right. fans everywhere. Why don't we talk a little bit about a peace treaty? Well... This is called the Treaty of Saskatchewan. You know what Saskatchewan is? I do. Okay. Home of Chico Resch. And this is for all hockey fans to be happy about. Gary Bettman and Donald Fear, the head of the union and the head of the NHL, they have agreed to a deal. No more work stoppages. That's the gift. The NHL is forever. Right. We hope. We hope. But that's a nice From gift, right? From your lips, Stanta. As they say. <laughs> I have to, two lips now. I got this lip. <laughs> I got these. I got four lips. Two lips to favorite flower stand. Lippy number four. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hey, don't get wise with me. <laughs> but, yeah. Now. Stand to getting a little frisky. You might have been into the Baileys early. Not sure. I like to write books. You know that, right? I, I, how many? This is a month. Stanta? Yes. <laughs> I know. I didn't know that Stanta was a noted author. Stan Fischler, if he's ever around, he's a noted author. But Stanta, stop being so glib, you will you? Stay in character. This is not the glibby hockey league. Okay. All right, this is a book that has to be written. Okay. Okay. Because there were two languages, right? Mm -hmm. And this is called How to Speak Canadian, Canadian language, in one easy lesson. Did you have, a, did you have an example? You certainly do. It's one of two words. Is all you have to know. A or A. Now, you know Canadians like to use the word A. I do. You know what it means? No. That's two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Another, a? Uh, another book that I decided to scrap is How to Avoid the Dreaded Three-Goal Lead. And this is what I think of this book, because now it's the four goal lead. Hey, so that's the end of that. Well, let's hope there's not two takes necessary. We have to get new props. Now, this is one that you suggested to stand. I did. Here's with the a, thing that gets to me, right? A player will tell you everything is wrong. The ice was bad. The officials made a bad call. Uh, you know, they'll blame it on extra outside the building issues. Come on. You know what's missing? They need a mirror. Yes, they need a mirror. And here is the mirror. This is going to be the gift for any player who says we should look in the mirror. And he should say, mirror, mirror on the wall. I will back check most of all. Yeah, you're firm. Words, of <laughs> words of wisdom from Stanton. By the way, some, some players time. could use these in their homes. <laughs> Who, right. Who's really at fault here? Mm, maybe right. I got to pick it up a little okay, bit. Now. But we're not going to, you know what? We don't want to put coal in anyone's stocking. So we're going to keep it merry. That's right. Back check. Because uh, it's cold outside. It is cold. Baby, it's now, cold. Now, I, I, I want, you know broadcasting, there's so much detail involved in offsides. Yes. Is it an offside? And then they have to do it. And of course, they're trying to do it right. Yes. Right? So I commissioned an artist at great expense. Really? Well, not really. <laughs> but if I had the dough, because if I had the dough, never if I had known the dough, we, we wouldn't the have pockets, this, that's this, for sure. this monstrosity. Old deep uh, pocket, short arm stent, uh, if no, you know I'm what I mean. No, I'm only kidding. I know. A friend of mine did this. He's an artist. He's a hockey player. Mm -hmm. Danny Rios Farrell. He did this. Okay. Now, this is supposed it's to be... It's kind of an abstract thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's so abstract, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to turn it a little bit to the camera so everybody gets the full effect. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Well, you see, one linesman says yes, and the other one says no. Okay. All right. 
Now, this was good for the people who sell paint, <laughs> paint stuff, because I don't know why we ever did that. I'd rip this apart. I, I don't know if that's clear things up, Santa, but what I do like is the, uh, the fruit yeah, <laughs> on the right. top of the canvas. You get Didn't the, want to fill up the rest of the canvas, I guess. Four apples for a quarter. There we go. Are those yeah. apples? Uh, well, if they're not they apples, are now. they're tomatoes. They are. All right. Hey, and, <laughs> and so if they, somebody's going to throw it at us. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, hold on here. <laughs> this skit is offside, but that's all right. We're going to keep going because there's no review. You know what we're going to do? Showdown. What child doesn't want to play tabletop hockey? Right. You could also call it table hockey. We can do that. Well, in fact, we will. All right. Because we have our stage crew here, Matthew Blitner and John Fayol, uh, who is the creating force behind Soho Table Hockey. And he has created this beautiful handmade game. Uh, I was at a, with your alter ego, Stan Fischler, I was at uh, the uh, table, ho table hockey championships over the summer in New York City, and I saw some of the great players. You want to show down here? Oh, definitely, and, and if I beat you, I would like a gift. I would like a beard that stays. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going to do play by play? Uh, I can't play and do play. We'll try. Okay, here we go. So one of the beautiful things that, one of the beautiful, well, no, we'll just do it right here. It's like one, two, three, right? But here's the beauty. The beauty is, this is the Prudential Center ice. We have the Islanders versus the Devils in their uniforms. This is not just some anonymous player playing defense or wing or center. So uh, let's go. Well, wait a minute. i got to get my guy out to take the face off. Well, you do. You're very stop slow. cheating. Parath cheating. All right, ready? Jeez. One. Oh, you get to get a little closer, Stanton. One, two, three. Men's. Men's and men's. Whoa, here Whoa. we go. Look. Yeah. <laughs> he shoots, he scores. <laughs> well, wait a minute. It's under review. <laughs> it's under review. I think we can cut that to Stand about, <laughs> about 20 seconds. Santa Claus, heck of a job as always at uh, the holiday season at Christmas time. Congratulations on the victory. I might have let the goal go in. What? Say that. <laughs> Good to see you. If I had a beard, I'd be able to congratulate you. And if we had money, it wouldn't be Matt and the Maven. We'd have better okay. problems. Okay. Awesome. And that it's just outside. about sums it up. <laughs> Santa Claus has come to town.